plan today is first we will just see how to do what the analysis in tableau then i have a couple of visualization uh, dual axis chart index dual chart mostly this is focused uh, to compare like two years sales or we can say in marketing field where uh, we will be in position to see what is actual versus target in those cases we can use this eight visualization also at the end we will just have a discussion uh, which among these eight is best to compare year over year growth sales or this actual versus target kind of thing that's the agenda for today so quickly let me open a new sheet we'll start with the what if analysis so as uh, we have already seen like what if analysis in excel just it's a kind of changing the input dynamically and seeing how the output changes according to that so here uh, we have just taken the sales and we have two parameters growth rate and churn rate based on these two parameters how the forecasted sales will look like that's what you will try to make here so to create two parameters just create parameters Drop the order date. For the time being, we will filter only for 2020 or later. This is the actual sales in 2020 now. We will make a calculated field incorporating the parameters to get the forecasted sales. We will calculate the field. This is a metric for forecast sales. Now we will drop them based on the parameter controlling the parameter growth rate and so that this will change. And I won't recommend to drop this in measure name and measure release because when you try to adjust the size, it will change for both to avoid that what we can do is instead of dropping in measure values, drop them beside the measure values and do two real axis. Now for forecasted sales if you would like uh, sorry if you would like to show the clients for some sales then you can go and add some pretty and colors also. So now if you see the axis uh, we forgot to synchronize axis that's why now if you synchronize the axis you can see the sales will have more thick line than the forecasted sale uh, that's why it's generally recommended to go for dual axis rather than measure names and measure values uh, this is the what if analysis in tab generally we create parameter to dynamically change the parameters or fields which are you like to so next we will try to make the dual axis bar chart so before making the dual axis bar chart, uh, we need two metric. One is like current year sales and other one is previous year sales. So first we will create those metric. 
calculated calculated field max here sales maximum here from the data source level we can give sales before some here also but in that case then we will get Uh, error like cannot be segregated or non related field to avoid that i am just using some on top of this condition Are max year sales and the uh, thin bars are uh, pre year sales. So this is the one of the issues we had for today. Before moving to next one, we will just try to format it. Do it, do it. 
x-axis. Try to reduce the size of bar and increase the size of the bar. And this is the second one, index bullet chart. Third is nothing but the simple line chart. And you can duplicate this one. So this is the third one. Fourth one is common chart. We have already seen that, but still, let it be a recap. So we'll just pull the measure name to size and measure values let it be. Up the measure names in path. So now we got the comment. But also, we'll just try to uh, show the difference. So, for example, if you see here, uh, the prior year sales is greater than the current year. But in this case, current year sales is greater than prior year. To distinguish that, we will just create a difference field and we will drop them in the color so it will be distinguishable. Max year sales. Act like a boolean, so if the difference is greater than zero, it will show true, else false. Search for color. So, this shows like current year sales is greater than the prior year, and this is the other way around. So, then five, we have the floating bar chart.